Brian, just forget it. Stop that. You need to take care of yourself. Got Mac patched up. Let's take a look at you now. Oh, looks pretty nasty right about here. <laughs> It hurts when you breathe? Alex, you made it. Charlotte, right? I'm sorry you had to see that fight. What a terrible first impression. Dad, I'm taking Gabe to the station. First impression of what? We need a first aid kit that doesn't predate the discovery of bacteria. It's fine. I don't need to go. Well, Ryan knows what he's doing. Now you just go with him. <sighs> Alex, I'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Well, there goes my bartender and my backup bartender. Well? I love that. It's a falling star? Yeah. Or rising. Depends on the day, I guess. <laughs> so, what's it doing today? Not sure. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Today's been a roller coaster so far. I can't imagine. I heard Ethan gave you an issue of his comic. He obviously thinks you're really cool. <laughs> I know literally nothing about kids, but he seems like one of the good ones. I appreciate that. He's my favorite person. Hmm. By the way, thanks for telling us about the mine. Ethan's not allowed up there anymore. Good. Yeah, no problem. I hope you won't be mad at me. You did the right thing. Yeah, no, you did. Beef pie special. Watch the gravy. Jed, you didn't have to. Now, Ryan said you're skipping dinner. No starving artists on my watch. <laughs> I like him. I do have to get going. I'm making some pieces for the Spring Festival, and they have to be done tonight. Sorry I couldn't talk longer. That's okay. So glad you're here, Alex. I'm looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah, same. Bye, thanks for supper. Yep. I'm short-staffed at the moment. Uh-huh. Gabe tells me you've worked at a restaurant before. A couple years' experience as a server? Uh... Go with Gabe's story, come clean. Gabe's full of shit. I've never worked in a restaurant before. Never stops that one. <laughs> but I would love the work, if experience isn't an issue. Want to give it a try? It's not too busy right now. And we keep it informal around here. Okay. Thanks. All right. So, we have a few folks that need checking on. Ducky and Diane over there. Steph over here. Uh, there's a table in the back that needs clearing also. You can give the food orders to me, and I'll handle anyone here at the bar. All right? Got it. It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. My dad was in the service. Okay, I thought that was a part, an important bit of dialogue. What the heck? Memories. Gabe. Mac? been in town for a week and all his free time went into finding dad. It was useless, of course. Dad had disappeared from here years before. Moved on to some new town, some new job. Gabe called county clerk, following up on a rumor, and for just a second, it must have seemed like he finally cracked the case. Our records do show that a Mr. John Chen was briefly a resident of Haven Springs, Colorado, but then such a shitty feeling realizing 
You've exhausted all your options. So there's no more gas in the tank. At first, all you can do is lose your shit, try to put your foot through the wall, scream at the stars, and hope to cause an avalanche. But eventually, when you're all out of anger, you gotta look at yourself in the mirror and ask yourself who you'll be after all this. And Gabe didn't have an answer, not yet. Why are you looking for your dad? Mac. Gabe's apartment. Okay. Alright. Was I supposed to find something and missed it? We'll find out, I guess. So I was looking at these and we did actually miss this. So I'm going to replay that chapter to get that. Um, I was looking through these messages and there were two instances where they were like, hey, where are you, Alex? No one can get hold of you. And they were both March. So I thought that they were both the same time. They're not. Um, they are. One is 2018 and one is 2019. And they both have to do with uh, Mariella. The first one is she messages her about wanting to stay somewhere. I'm sorry, but can I crash again? I decided I needed a break from the hell hole known as Helping Hands. She says, Alex, I'm sorry. I have a few friends staying with me right now, so I can't. And Alex says, no worries. I'll figure something out. So this is March 12th. And Dr. Lynn, um, she's upset. Alex, where are you? Is March 13th. Your things are gone. Who are you with? Please get in touch with me. And, and like nothing until October. So something happened there. Um, and then the other time where Gabe is like, where are you? What's up? I can't get in touch with you is March 9, 2019. Please call me when you get this. Alex, are you all right? What's up? I haven't heard from you in a few days. Uh, and that is when stuff is falling apart with Mariella. Mari, are you there? Don't be coy. I've totally seen you naked. Please text me if you get this. I was just joking about the stuff I said last week. There's nothing weird about me except the birthmark. And this is, this is March 5th. So Gabe's saying, hey, what's up? I haven't heard from you in a few days. Are you all right? These are a few days before. And then this is March 16. How are you holding up? She says it's been shitty here, but we've been through worse. So something with Mari? Let me know if you need anything. With Mariella? I keep calling her Mari. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Maybe I assume that this drama here was her trying to figure stuff out with Mariella. And that's why, that's why he's like, where are you? Anyway, there's that. And then what's weird is this with Jean about drugs is from 2013. And the fact that she still has his number and hasn't blocked it is really weird to me. It's from at least six years ago. But she hasn't blocked that number. Anyway, before we do that, I need to reload. So I missed this letter. I can. Right, I'm telling you, his story doesn't add up. He wants you. He's helping me get into college, baby. You know, dudes can do nice things without the expectation of getting laid, right? A high school dropout? A guy who went to a fucking juvie? Wants to be your study buddy? What, out of the goodness of his heart? Oh my god, Mac, we're friends. There is nothing going on between Gabe and me. So they've had this conversation? I thought she said he didn't know the, about the interview. Maybe he didn't know about the interview, but they knew that maybe Gabe was helping her with other stuff before the interview, and that's what that conversation's about. So Mac was reading Riley's text, boyfriend of the year. So I guess, I guess Gabe helped with her application. And now they're moving forward to the interview and she hasn't said anything to Mac about it. I, I think that's what they were talking about in the thing. 
It's really nice to have you here, Alex. Thanks. Guess I'm a server now. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. My dad was in the service. Okay, so I replayed that chapter. Oh, and it kept it. Okay, good. I wasn't sure because I had to go back and reload this one. I wasn't sure it would keep it, but it did. So I was really hoping there was something in the... Ooh. Whoa. In the accessibility options. Holy crap. That, um would tell us when there was something, some kind of emotion to read, but it looks like we just have to hold this. Oh, there's, there's a couple things. Damn boys, always fighting. Time to grow up. Aww. Should have seen Gabe go at it with dad. He's come a long way. Behind that mountain man beard, Jed's so obviously a sweet guy. Glad you could fill in today. There's something else back here. I want it. Okay, it's not gonna let me walk back that way. Good. I guess I'm gonna talk to you guys first. I should check on that table. Can I get you two anything? Miss Chan, here at last to relieve our suspense. <laughs> okay. Hi. I am Reginald McAllister, the third ducky to friends, former entrepreneur, now retired. And this young woman is Diane. Hey there. Nice to meet you. I didn't realize that... Uh, that we all knew you were coming? Yes. Gabe is generous with uh, both friendship and information. You're from Portland, right? I moved here from D.C. six months ago. How are you finding the small town thing? I didn't really know what to expect, but it's kind of perfect. <laughs> it feels like a home. I know, I know. I really thought I would hate it. Then I saw the mountains, met some people, and now I'm never leaving. Hmm. Diane is a geologist, recently working as a process manager for Typhon Mining. Mm. I'm glad there's another newbie around here, too. Can I get you anything? Oh, yeah, we're super hungry. I'd love a pie special with fries. Cheeseburger with mushrooms and my usual to drink. Jet will know what to do. All right, I'll go put that order in. Thanks. Now, am I going to remember this? My dad was in the service. New dialogue unlocked. Hey, Jed. Cheeseburger. Oh, shit. <laughs> hey, Jed. Yeah. I've got an order from Ducky and Diane. Go ahead. Fudge it. Cheeseburger with mushrooms. Yes. Yes, it was cheeseburger with mushrooms. One cheeseburger with mushrooms. Uh-huh. And? A pie with fries. That's what she wanted. I remembered the fries. One pie special with fries. Ducky asked for his usual? Yes. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he's fond of a particular rye whiskey. I keep a personal bottle for him. Is that the thing that oh, was glowing odd. earlier? I don't see it. Oh, now wait. I bet Ducky took that bottle upstairs last night. Yeah, he and Gabe went on carousing long after closing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Serves him right if you ask me. But feel free to go upstairs and look for it. I'm sure he'd be grateful. Okay. I can do that. Oh, if you can't find it, Deputy Pike was with them. Might have some idea. He's usually in here around now. Probably arriving soon. So we're going to go upstairs there and... There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Ooh, this guy. Typhon's not a bad company once you get used to how they operate. Right. Yeah, that's what people keep telling me. Oh, is that really Ryan? Oh. Takes a minute to learn the ropes, though. Huh. Yeah, I guess. The way they do things is just so... I don't know. <laughs> Idiosyncratic. 
didn't. There we go. Starting over from scratch like this? On me. Fucking terrifying is what it is. You're telling me. Yeah, there's sticklers about that stuff. It's a security concern. I don't know what he did. I mean, sure, but it's not like the CIA or whatever. We blow the tops off mountains for a living. Look, I hear you, kid. I've been jumping through Typhon's hoops since Noah built the Ark. But things are the way they are. Sure, I know. I'm just venting. Really, I, I like my job. And the Oscar goes, too. <laughs> don't fret. I'm not going to turn you in for sedition or anything. I don't... Yeah, there's something in his something in his locker. If I had to hold in every gripe I have about Typhon, I'd have popped like a damn balloon by now. I got written up for leaving my phone on. It wasn't even on me. But I guess it started vibrating in my locker when I was on duty. Yeah, there's sticklers about that stuff. It's a security concern. Oh, that's what tells you it has a, a white glow on it? That's what tells me I need to look? Okay. My extensive wilderness map reading knowledge tells me that there is a whole lot of wilderness around here. <laughs> For rattlesnake bites, see Ryan. For rattlesnake shots, see Jed. Backcountry skiing by permit only. Ballot notice. Town of Haven Springs Council vote notice. Official council meeting will be held on May 26 to decide one measure. Proposes selling property of no more than 20 acres to Typhoon Mining uh, for use in an open pit mine. Both the sale and profit subsequent property taxes will be added to the overhaul, overall budget of Haven Springs to be divided and spent through standard procedure. More information is available at Town Hall. Talk to a council member if you have any further concerns. Only 45 bucks for the chance to get mauled by a bear. <laughs> Limited license applications are due by April 26. Fishing and big game hunting. Annual fishing license is 25. Deer is 30. Elk is 50. Bear is 45. Mountain lions 45. Bighorn sheep is 300. Youth licenses now available. For further information, contact Ryan. Looks radioactive. That's the girl from the record store. Staff. Um, what was doing emotions over here? Nope, I gotta hold it. What's this? Thanks for driving me home. You're the nicest cop I've ever met. Whoa! Hey! Another wipeout. Pike is a funny name. <laughs> like the fish. Officer Fish. <laughs> Jason, Pike is my... S Holy shit, is it snowing? Yep. Sure is. Well, what? Man, poor Pike. <laughs> Gabe, just do what your boss says. Fire department, taxi, snowplow, boiler, Gabe, Jose. Gabe, tap's broken again. Fixed. What did you do to it? Just jiggled it a little, smartass. Damn tap again. Guy will do it for a hundred. I'll do it for 85, thinking I might finally raise the rent this year. Fixed it. <laughs> First aid kit. Wow. Tetanus anyone? I hope Brian's got better supplies. Why is there like... You can't be serious. I'm supposed to be able to read the menu. There's a wall, and I can't walk back there behind him. Alex, right? I'm Steph. Hey. Just seeing if you need food or anything. Oh no, I'm good. Thanks so. Sorry I couldn't hang out at the record store. I've got some time now, though, if you want to chat. So I'm supposed to be sitting with you? So are you, um, here with somebody? Or... That's Ryan's stuff. Apparently he ditched me for Gabe. 
Oh yeah, that's his bird to thing. First aid. <laughs> Being a hero again. Ryan's always doing that. <laughs> it's a Lucan family thing. Have you heard about Jed's rescue? It was a big deal. Back when he was a minor, he saved- I can't imagine. Alex wants an earload of Haven trivia just now. <laughs> Sorry, Jed. Oh, come on. Of course I want trivia. He doesn't like to brag, but there's stuff about it all over the place if you look. Interesting. Is that record store inventory? <laughs> no, it's character stats. Do you know what a LARP is? Mm-hmm. I know what it is. Does she know what it is? She probably doesn't. I've heard the term before. Live action role play. It's like a tabletop role playing game, but acted out in real life. Costumes, foam weapons, beanbag spells. It's great. Gabe was talking about a LARP with Ethan. Yeah, it's next week. They're coming with me. It's their first time. I'm so excited. <laughs> Would you ever want to join us sometime? Yes. Sure, I'd try it. If you and Gabe both like it, it must be super fun. Awesome. I've never done a LARP. Actually, mm, I think technically I have. Wasn't defined as a LARP, but I think pretending to be zombies... Oh, what is it? Humans versus zombies um, on my college campus? I believe that counts as a LARP. Is that your shot? What is that? This is bedazzled kiwi schnapps. Mm. No one's ever ordered it, so Gabe's trying to get rid of it with the jukebox game. Well, sounds jukebox good. Game? It's like a short version of 20 questions where you're trying to guess a song. Guess wrong. You have to take the shot. Ryan and I were going to play. You want to take his place? I'm supposed to be working, but sure. Dude, you're on. <laughs> yes. So, I'll pick a song. You have five yes or no questions before you have to guess it. Oh, God. Okay. I don't know how good my music trivia <laughs> knowledge is. Got one. Jukebox is all yours. So, what do you want to ask me? Hmm. I should flip through these and see what might be good to ask. Okay. Think of the children, alabaster dreams, song missing. Song title questions, cover art questions, personal questions, or band name questions. Mm. There's a lot here. Let's try cover art questions. Picture of an animal has the band name. A lot of these have the band name. on the cover. Picture of an animal. Is there an animal on the cover art? Uh, no. No animals. Okay. Oh, too bad. Some of these are really cute. I know, right? No animals. Band name questions. Has a person's name, has a symbol. One word. Is the band name only one word? It is more than one word. Hmm. More than one word, no animals. Any punctuation? Is there any punctuation in the song title? Nope. No punctuation. Okay. You've got two questions left. <sighs> no punctuation in the song title. No animals. The band name is more than one word. Punctuation, does it even have a song title? Um, there are no animals on the cover, people on the cover. Back, personal questions. When did you last hear it? Why do you like it? I don't 
know that that's useful information. Band name questions has a symbol. Does the band name have a symbol in it? Like something that's not just a letter? Oh, yeah, it totally does. Nice. Last question. Three sheets to the wind. But did we say the band name was more than one word? So it's not that one. And it's got a symbol in it. That one might have it. Um, the song title has no punctuation, four words or more. Does the song have a long title, like four words or more? Yes. Interesting. Mike's your five. Ready to guess? It might be. Yeah. Let me look through one last time. Could be this one. Here's what I know. The band name does have a symbol in it. It's not a one word band name. No punctuation in the song title. The song title is at least four words long. No animals on the cover. Think that's enough to figure it out? We'll see. Oh, shit. Was there no punctuation in the band name? Is that what she said? Nope, or no punctuation. I wanted things. She said the song was at least four words long. Ooh, it could be this one. Could also be this one. That's three. So that gives me three. Okay. So I've got three to pick from. That's got a symbol, but it's only three words. So the band name has a symbol. Could be that one. The song title is more than four words long. There's no animals on the cover. What were the other ones? There's no punctuation? Shit, there's no punctuation in the song title. So I believe all those still fit. I've got it. I've got it narrowed it narrowed down to three. I'm gonna pick this one. Is it that one? No, it's not. Sorry. All right. Glitter drink me. <laughs> it's not as bad as it looks. It sounds good to me. Is it? It's actually delicious. <laughs> you should try one. <laughs> it it sounds delicious. Hey, thanks for playing. I'm really glad we did. Me too. I should get back to work. Okay. There must be something around the Black Lantern that can help me find Ducky's prized whiskey. Oh. Haven is nice. Just wish it felt like home. Hope we both get there soon. I thought you said everything was great. Now you're saying everything's not great. Venison and leek pie. Ooh. I need to try that. I would try that. Denver omelet, Rocky Mountain oysters, jalapeno poppers, and broccoli soup. Ducky's thing's supposed to be upstairs, right? I'm allowed to go upstairs? Thanks for watching till the end of the video. Consider giving a like or leaving a comment. The YouTube algorithm favors engagement, so doing one or both of those things really helps the channel. There's social media links in the description and a link to my tip jar if you're interested in helping out that way. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy the next one.